In this Python tutorial, I designed a GUI application that we can connect to the database using the custom Kinter library. Using the application, we will be able to perform delete and select operations on a table in Microsoft SQL Server. There are entry, button, and label objects in the application. After entering the table and ID values, when you press the select button, the data is shown in the label object. When you press the delete button, the data is deleted. When the deleted data is wanted to be selected, no data warning is displayed in the label object. We can also show the data in the label object with the select button. We will remake the project with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. I will transfer the PODBC library to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. You can use this code for transfer. I will use the custom Kinter library to design a GUI application. You can transfer using this code. Let's start developing the application. I am transferring PODBC and custom Kinter libraries. I set the window view to system. I set the window theme to blue. I create a variable for the window. I can adjust the window size using the geometry function. I am adjusting the window title. I use the main loop function to prevent the window from closing suddenly. I created an empty window. Now I will start adding objects to the window one by one. First, I add an entry object for the table name. I send the window variable and text values to the entry object. I use the place function to add the object to the window. The entry object for the table name has been added to the desktop window. I need an entry object for the ID. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. The entry object for the ID has been added to the desktop window. Now I will create the buttons. I am creating a button for select. I send the window variable, text, task function and color parameters to the button function. I add the button object to a window using the place function. I can create the task function with pass for now. The button I created for select has been added to the window. Now I will create a button for delete. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I'm creating the task function with pass for now. The button I created for delete has been added to the desktop window. I need a label object. I will give information about the operations on the label object. For example, if there is an error while connecting to the database, I will inform the user using the label object. I send the window variable and text value to the label function. I add it to the window using the place function. Label object window added. 
Now I will edit the task function. I use the try except method to detect errors in the connection. I am creating a variable. I will try to connect to the database with the connect function. I set the driver option to SQL server. I can find out the server name this way. I can learn the database name this way. I will connect to the system using Windows authentication. Therefore, I set the trusted connection option to true. In SQL Server, we can see the data in the table. I will write a select query to see the data in the table. There are currently five data in the table. We will soon show this data in the label object in the GUI application. I am creating a cursor for the select query. I will send the select query to the execute function. I can get the values entered into the entry and ID entry objects with the get function. I can access data using a for loop. I show the data in the label object using the configure function. If it gets an error, I will address it in the accept section. I will show the error on the console screen with the print command. I also edit the label object using the configure function. If there is no data for the specified ID, I will issue a warning message. I am creating a variable. If the for loop runs, there is data. I set the variable to 1. If the variable is 0, there is no data. I show a message stating this in the label object. We have completed the select task function. Let's test it. I enter the table name and ID information. When you click on the select button, the data is displayed in the label object. If there is no data, a message stating that it does not exist is shown in the label object. Now I will edit the delete task function. I copy and paste the connect function. I set the auto commit option to true. The commit function will be called after each execute function runs. I send the delete command to the execute function. I access the data entered in the entry object using the get function. I show a message in the label object stating that the data has been deleted. If there is an error, I will address it in the accept section. I print the error to the console screen using the print command. 
I will show a message stating that there is an error in the label object. The delete task function is completed. Now let's test the application. When you press the delete button, the data is deleted. When an attempt is made to select data that does not exist, a message indicating that the data does not exist is displayed in the label object. We can check whether the data has been deleted or not. The application works as we want. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.